All right. Ooh. On the turntable now is a, I think is a silverberry. I'm going to trim these roots just a bit down here because I skinned them. So they're not doing me any good. Not skinned up like that. This guy here, skinned. All right. So I believe this is a silverberry or a Russian olive, something in that family. Um, it is consistent with the silverberry that I have as far as the texture and everything. It's got a little dead stump here. I'm going to cut off. It's basically broken off anyways. It has a nice scar on it. I like the scar. It's got some low-down branches, even a branch here, which probably isn't ideal, but heck, I'm going to leave it. I broke off some branches here collecting it. Um, but I am really excited about this one. That's different from the silver bear I already have, and it's got so many good healthy roots, or it appears to have so many good healthy roots. Well, this doesn't belong to that plant. It's kind of what you get, right? Kind of what you get. Connected. I'm just gonna make sure everything's connected, you know? <laughs> some of these roots go up, some of them go sideways. I think all the roots that are here now are connected to this tree. Um, this one is much healthier than my other silverberry was. And the reason I say that is because this one doesn't have any of those hematodes on the roots. The other one had big hematodes. This one just has, no, well, might be one. No, don't think it was. That was just dirt. All right. Uh, that's a little one. That's okay. So we're going to pop this up into a pot. I am going to probably give you a little more aggressive with this one. Um, and the reason why is because I'm relatively familiar. So we're very just take it, take a beating and keep on ticking, you know, um, but not super aggressive. So this is good. This is a good size for the root base. I wish I had a, hmm. I don't think I have a pot yet for it, but I've got something coming in the mail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back in the water, let it soak. And instead, I'm going to focus on, ooh, these guys, we have one teeny tiny, we have a second, hopefully a second, yeah, second teeny tiny. We've got ooh, some medium sized ones, which I gotta pull some weeds out of, but. Beautiful roots on that guy. Medium one. Um, another medium one with a really long root. And two slightly larger ones. You all know what's coming. You don't pull this many saplings out of the ground unless you have a plan. I'm going to try to do a fusion. I think it'd be really cool to do a really cool fusion on this. And I'm kind of going to take a page out of Candace from uh, Bonsai Sciences book, and I'm going to try to do a mid fusion in a way. So catch the next episode. I'm going to wrap this one up here. I've got my silverberry soaking. Hope you're ready. I should get pots today, actually. I'm waiting for three in the mail. And I'm going to get these started on a fusion project.